The largest solar plant east of the Rockies could be coming to Spotsylvania County, Virginia. 6,000 acres on rural land. That's about 10 square miles that are all in question and some residents are for it, but many have spoken out against it. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox looks at the fears and the facts. Spotsylvania County is called the crossroads of the Civil War for the battles fought here. Now a new battle pits neighbor against neighbor. It will change the character of the county. Utah-based S-Power has plans to purchase more than 6,000 acres of rural land to build a 500 megawatt solar facility. It would tie into the Dominion Energy substation. Two million solar panels would cover 3,500 acres. To visualize the size, think of the National Mall. The area between the Capitol and the Lincoln spans 1.9 miles. The S-Power plant would be about five times as big. What's more, solar plants of this magnitude are usually found in the deserts of the Southwest, away from neighborhoods. This is the largest thing that's ever hit this county being this close to human beings. In order to turn the 6,000 acres currently zoned agriculture into a solar field, the Spotsylvania Board of Supervisors must give S-Power for its three separate sites special use permits. The property is currently owned by six property owners, including timber companies. One of the property owners is Vic and Sarah Meadows. Vic says it's going to be a blessing for Spotsylvania. He's selling the land regardless and says this is much better than a hog or chicken farm or even more development, which would burden local schools and roads. But many people disagree and are upset that thousands of trees have already been cleared. By destroying 5,000 plus acres, how many habitats would you be destroying? Both sides have packed marathon meetings, those against wearing red, those for it green. At the public hearing, 70 out of 100 speakers were against it. I'm pro-solar. I was mad when they took the solar panels off the White House. Solar's not new, we've had it. This is too much, too fast, too big. The material S-Power wants to use in its panels, cadmium telluride, is of concern because cadmium causes cancer. But S-Power's solar expert, considered one of the top in the field, Dr. Vasilis Vanakis from Columbia University, says cadmium telluride is a different and completely stable, safe substance. Absolutely no contamination. In Germany, in Italy, in Spain, <laughs> European Commission, GRC, and all have concurred that the technology is completely safe. Critics point to the April 2015 tornado that hit the Desert Sunlight Solar Farm in California. And it shows the panels destroyed on the ground. So this idea of this is like a car windshield that will crack but not break, to me, is very suspect. Dr. Vasilis Fanakis says the soil was tested after the tornado. In terms of the tornado, zero soil contamination, nothing. Zero soil contamination. Economic impact is the other hotly debated concern. S-Power says the facility will generate $20 million a year for Spotsylvania. With the scale that we have, we can sell energy to Microsoft, to Apple, to the University of Richmond, whose energy demands are just going, are growing every day. This is actually going to be a money loser. Kevin McCarthy leads the organization Concerned Citizens for Spotsylvania County. It hired an economist who told the board the solar project will depreciate in value and not generate enough property tax revenue for the county. Houses, he said, would bring in much more revenue. But Supervisor Greg Benton called that scenario hypothetical and said the property owners want to sell now, so it doesn't matter what could be in the future. Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.